All right, hello YouTube. There are many guides out here. I'm gonna throw mine into the mix. Got the Wise video doorbell. I'm gonna do the installation on this video. Uh, rather than unbox everything in front of you, went ahead and laid everything out as I need it. I'll go through step by step as I do it. First things first, I need to turn off electricity to my door chime. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, my electrical panel is in my garage. Assuming yours will be in the garage too, might be in the basement. Uh, mine is labeled on that right there, chime slash exterior recepts. Go ahead and turn that to off. Boom, should be good to go. All right, guys, next step is we're gonna get into the chime box. You're gonna want to use your fuse, two end caps here, and you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. And in this step, what we're gonna do is we are gonna get power to our Wise video doorbell. I love that Wise chose to hardwire theirs in rather than using batteries. So this is a much more permanent fix. Let's go find my chime box and see what it looks like. All right, here's my chime box. Mine is in the hallway and probably goes without saying, but this is the box that makes the noise when your doorbell is pushed. So mine, you just gotta push in the end here and it slides off. Alrighty, and fabulous. All right, so as you see, I've got three options to have to be connected. Only two of them are, because I only have one. And so what I'm gonna do next, I'll show you. I'm gonna unscrew both of these. I'm gonna hook them into my fuse and I can put this cover back on. So let me do that, I'll show you the end result. All right, got the finished product for you. So you can see, loosen those two screws. Cool thing about this, doesn't matter which side you go on, uh, but I will say they were a little finicky so make sure you, you get these real tight. Otherwise, the, the wise fuse wire, it will come undone. But once you have that, I'm just going to tuck these in. And I'm going to put the cover back on and be good to go. All right. So here's my existing doorbell. As you can see, it is perpendicular to my front door. So I am going to use the wedge. I'll show you how to do that. First thing is, I'm going to undo those screws. Disconnect this then install my wedge plate. So I'll show you that here in a second. All right guys, quick overview as I plan on installing the doorbell on the outside wall. Uh, so on this wall mount, if you decide to use this, so this is ambidextrous if you will, so you can use it both ways. Uh, the key piece is this plate right here. So if you can see, uh, so you want those facing up. Um, so regardless of which way this goes, uh, don't install it that way, that'd be backwards. Uh, see how this, where this tab is, you want that tab where my thumb is to be at the top. That's gonna sit in there. And then as you can see, those four slots in each corner, those are what go uh, on that little plate. So just heads up there, maybe save you some, some trouble. What I am gonna do, it's pretty neat. Uh, you see these two wires here, they've got the little U-shaped connectors. Those are gonna go right here on each side. I'm gonna go ahead and attach those. I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, you're gonna need your two caps. I'm going into siding in my house. I don't think I'm gonna need those. Uh, but for the plate, I'm gonna need two of these longer screws. I'm gonna use those. And so let me get a little bit more set up for insulation. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so as you can see, I've removed the screws here that we're holding in my original doorbell. Uh, you've got just that red and white wire here that is gonna get connected to the wise doorbell. Uh, I'm showing this, you know, it's gonna have some touch up here on the sides. Mine was horizontal. If yours vertical, uh, it'll, it's better. It's gonna cover it up. Fortunately, I've got this paint, so I'll be able to touch this up. But um, yeah, what I'm gonna do now is similar to the chime. I'm gonna unscrew, loosen these, pull out these wires and reconnect those to the wise doorbell. And I'll show you that here in a minute. All right, everyone, before I wrap up here, one key point that I missed, fortunately I'm able to edit the videos. All right, so if you use the wedge here, put this plate on and then put the screw on. So what I did was I attached the plate, assuming I attached this, attached the wedge before I attached the plate, assuming that I could do it separately. No, same screw does this plate and the wedge plate. So uh, learn from my mistake there. Get your wires connected like so. Twist these on really good. 
One other thing to note, um, if you've got a lot of wire coming out, you might wanna go ahead and shove that back in there before you get the plate in there. Because you can see there's quite of excess in there. I've got to like shove in here to get this thing to fit. So let me work on that. I'll get back to you. All right, guys, I got it mounted. And I will say I did have a little bit of trouble shoving all that wire back behind here. Uh, so if you're not using this wedge plate, like that really saved me. I was able to shove those end caps and everything back up in there. Uh, so just heads up in advance. And actually, if you saw those uh, connectors underneath here, I had them coming down this way, I actually inverted them. So they were coming out the top. Um, that was able to finally do it. So I'm gonna go turn on the power, get this thing connected. I'll show you guys a screenshot.